Welcome back everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, my portable 12 volt power box that I have. Um, it's shown in my other video with my uh, two-way radio setup. Uh, but today we're going to open it up. I'm going to show you how I built it. Um, it's about $50 in parts um, that I got off of eBay um, and uh, some local stores here by where I live. Um, but either way, it's built inside a plastic ammo box that I got at Harbor Freight Tools, which was about $5. My plan originally was to build it in a Pelican case, um, but I mean, for the price, I mean, you can't really complain, you know. Um, but either way, it has um, a cigarette outlet where I get my 12 volt power a master on and off switch um, and in the back I have a charging port okay inside there is a 12 volt seal lead acid battery that's uh, has a 12 volt I mean I'm sorry a 12 a 12 amp capacity and it's all controlled um, well yeah I guess you could say controlled by a um, solar charger okay what the solar char charger does it allows your 12 volt source um, to you know charge the battery and utilize the power out via the outlet right so you put your right here it's set up for solar um, your battery and your load okay and then you have some LED indicators and um, I have a master switch that kills um, the connection between the battery and the solar uh, solar controller because there is a drain so if I wasn't using it um, the LEDs would eventually kill the battery you know it would take some time but I want to have it topped off um, to the max so when it's charging it does have to be on but um, so it has a charge indicator if there's take if it's taking a charge if there's a load and then your battery indicator um, what's neat about this solar charge controller which I got I think it was like $12 on eBay it does shut off at tw at 10 volts so if your 12 volt battery drops off to 10 volts that means your battery is pretty much dead um, so it will kill um, the the power going out to your load at 10 volts okay um, and I did all these connections myself. I used a uh, you know terminal just to make it clean um, as possible. Um, the batteries just held in place. It just fit perfectly. I had uh, twenty five dollars in my PayPal, so I figured I'll get the maximum battery I can for that price. And I paid twenty six dollars for it, and it just happened to fix uh, fit perfectly in this box. And um, it weighs about ten pounds. And the battery's in the center, so it, it's pretty nice. And um, and even the distributed, so when you pick it up, the the box it it doesn't tend to go one forward or backward. Um, so the back has an SAE connector, where like I mentioned, this is where you charge it. Um, you could charge. You could put. 12 volts up to 10 amps because that's remember that's what the solar controller uh, regulates it at um, you could I have a solar panel that I have also that I had from Harbor Freight which is just a battery maintainer um, and it has an SAE connector and I could just connect it and it'll take a charge of course you know this will keep it topped off um, but it won't bring it back to a, from a full dead you know um, drain battery to uh fully charged for you know probably about a week um eventually i'm gonna get a solar panel that has a lot more capacity okay um also i do have this other cable that i could charge it from my car and what it does it's it has an sae connector and i plug it in here uh, okay and the other out has a cigarette lighter uh, plug and I just plug it into the car. Okay, but this one also acts as a power cable for a Motorola radio mobile radio Okay, and Plug it in there and I plug this to the back of the radio. Okay um, And then the other neat thing is I do have a I don't have it here with me But it's an AC DC adapter that I could plug into the wall 
and so it it's cap it puts out one amp so I could plug it in and it'll charge it through the wall so that's the whole cool thing about this it's it has three different ways of uh, recharging um, and that's what I feel makes it a little bit more versatile and it has the solar charge controller to to maintain your battery cut it off the low uh, after 10 of it drops below 10 volts um, and one thing that I was the primary purpose of it was to charge my portable radios. Eventually, I'm going to build a bigger box. Um, for example, here I have a travel charger for a Motorola radio. Um, and I just plug it in and drop the battery in, and it will charge it up. So I could charge quite a handful of batteries in the field if I needed to. Could charge a rechargeable flashlight, a cell phone, um, you know, a power, you know, low power electronics um i could power my mobile radios for about an hour but like i said eventually i'm going to build a bigger capacity one um this one's a smaller one it's great for camping emergency situations um build build something send me a link let's compare ideas hopefully this gives you an idea um like i said try to be useful resourceful and use whatever you can um that you have locally you know it doesn't have to always be um you know the top top end items that cost a lot of money all right you guys have a great day and thanks for watching